Hello everybody, it's Austin Farmer for Squad Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install mods for Farming Simulator 19 for PC only. I cannot stress this enough. If you are on Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, you cannot get these mods on console. Just so you guys know, ahead of time, if you're coming from Grant's channel, wanting to know how to get mods on console, you cannot get these mods on console. The only mods you can get are on the in-game mod hub that you have access to on your Xbox. Pretty much any of the mods you see us using in our roleplay videos, in Grant's videos, anywhere, you cannot get these mods on Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch. Just so you guys know, want to put that out there before we start the video. Anyway, so if you're looking to download mods for PC, you're going to want to go to Mod Network. This is the safest site, has almost no ads. Most sites, when you go to download, they will have an ad that pops up and it's really hard to uh, find the download button and really hard to navigate and stuff so this site is literally the simplest it's the cleanest it's the easiest is the best site i have used it for a while it's the best site to go for mods so you will simply go to the link provided in the description if you're looking for mods it's modnetwork.com so you simply go to featured games you'll click farming simulator 19 once you've clicked that you will see a search by mod name so let's say i want to download a ford truck so i just type in ford and rental man bucks ford will show up or any of these Fords, honestly, all of them. You can download all of them. They're all great vehicles. They're all done expendables. And this one, these two were done by Buck. If you guys don't know who Buck is, he's in the roleplay series. We call him Rental Man Buck. Anyway, so you will simply click download and it will start a download. So once that is finished, I'll show you guys where to go to put this in your mods folder. All right, so once you have your 2020 F series mod downloaded or any mo other mod and you guys are looking for your mods folder, now mine is right here. That is because I did the following steps. So I believe this is the same as on Steam and Disk as far as I know. So you simply go to Documents, you go to My Games, and you go to Farming Simulator 19. Now if you guys are just looking for the Farming Simulator 19 folder, uh, if it shows up in a different place, it should show up in Documents, but if it doesn't, then you just search your computer for it and you should be able to find it. So you simply click on that, and you will see a folder called Mods. Now what I did is I went and pinned it to quick access and that will pin it right here. That makes it very simple to simply click downloads. Then you can drag your mod into here. Now it will show up like this for me because I already have the mod in there. Now if you guys are looking to download an update for a mod, this will show up as well if the mod is named the same. If it's an updated version because it's replacing new files. So I'm simply just going to ignore that for now. and. You will have your mod in your folder. So let's say you found Expendables a very nice international pack and you would like to download it. Now the mods that are marked unzip me. Usually they will say that because that means you have to unzip them because there is mods inside. So you simply click download. Once that is downloaded I will show you guys how to unzip the file. So the mod has finished downloading. Now as you guys can see this file currently says unzip me. So what you would simply do is you would click on it. I believe all Windows or something should have some sort of a way to unzip files on mine. And it should be on everybody else's if you're working with Windows 10. You'll press Extract All. And you go Extract. Now this should extract to the same folder that you're in, which is Download. So once that's extracted, you will, you will be taken to this file. Now, if you right-click, you should be able to select all of this. I just am right clicking and then I can just go and select all of this. It makes it very simple or you could just simply drag them by itself. But this is a way faster way if you're dealing with bigger files. So simply just take this and drag it right into your mods folder. I already have these mods so it's showing up like this. But if you guys don't already have these mods, it will simply just show up as nothing because it, nothing will show up because they'll just be in your mods folder. So we're going to move into in-game and show you guys how to activate the mods. So let's just say you have a save game slot and you would like to start a new game. So you will simply just go click on that, click on that, and you will do another couple of clicks and you will be brought to a mod screen which is going to show up here any second now. And there it has showed up. So as you guys can see all the mods I already have installed have already activated themselves. Now let's say you added a 2003 Dodge 3500 and you already have a save game going. So let's say you already have mods and you already have a save game going and you add a new mod and then you go to start up that save game. It will show up as not activated once you like, let's say the, the mods all the way down here. So you guys scroll down a bit and then you want to activate the mod because you want to have it in game and you want to buy it, so on and so forth. So you simply just click it, double click it actually, and it will activate. So once the mod is activated, you will be able to start the game and it, it should show up now, if your mods are not showing up in the mods folder or in like the mod selection folder sort of thing, it is because you have either not unzipped them 
they are not done correctly and will not show up in game or you have moved your mods folder from its original place. Anyway guys, that's gonna be the end of the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope I taught you guys or at least showed you guys or this is a refresher on how to install mods for Farming Simulator 19. Anyway, drop a like on the video if you guys wanna see more tutorials and I'll see y'all in the next one.